Okay, so we've got this registration page completed. We've got these six fields, username, email, password, country, and gender. Five fields actually which we'd like to save in a database as, as soon as the users um, they finish registering. So the next thing I would want to do is I would create a management page or an administration page and on that administration page I'd like my database uh, values to be seen. So I'll create a new web form actually. So add, add a new web form and I'll call it admin page. Okay, on this page what I'd like to do is display all the data coming from the database which is the actual values stored from this page, the registration page which we have just seen. So first of all let's hook this up with the database and see that it is actually showing all values from the database and then we will be finishing with the read. Then we have insert, update and delete functions which we have to do with the database through our website. So let's go ahead and create a table first. So for, for that you need to go to this software called Management Studio, SQL Server Management Studio. If you just type SQL on your window, then you should be able to see SQL Server Management Studio. As soon as you open this SQL Server Management Studio, create a new database. I just created this. I let me create again. Um, I'll drop this now, and then I'll create one more database. Right-click on the databases, and we'll call it uh, Rent a Car Database or rent a car db whatever makes sense to you and then we'll see a database is created inside this database we need to create a new table so right click table and add one so first column in our page is username and then it's email password and country and gender so username give it maximum and varchar maximum 15 values allowed Nulls are not allowed because we don't allow empty data in this column. And then there is username, email, okay, and then again, and varchar maximum should be about 20, 25 in normal username, email, and then it is password, confirm password. Also give like 15 to this null is not allowed and then confirm password is just a validation that's why we are not storing it and country and gender then we have got country and this should be int because all countries we are actually storing as int if you look at this countries control go to the edit items even though they, see, they look like the string US, UAE case in Oman their actual values are 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5 so this reduces the data uh, traffic on the internet and also reduces the database's uh, data to be stored and it increases the database's performance. So we'll have country as int and then your gender as boolean. Boolean is 0 or 1 or, or bits. So B I T is what need to be selecting over here. So it's 0 or 1. So now your table is complete, just save it and give it name users. Now when this is finished, right click your table and click refresh so you can see this over there. Right click and do edit. When you do this, you should be able to add data interactively into this window. So I'll add username, for example, Fatima email, Fatima at gmail.com password country one gender one and then there is Aisha Aisha at hotmail.com password is abcd1234 countries two and gender is also one and let's add two more like Ahmad Ahmad at hotmail.com abcd1234 country two two or zero one anything which you want to do and then there is uh, what do you call it uh, let's give it my name CD. 
and there is one again and there is one again so it can be one zero or true or false over here okay now make sure you save it this means your database has some data and the way you can run this is you can actually see uh, you can actually run some queries over this database okay and you can actually see those so uh, i'll do this and i'll write a table uh, some query over here select asterisk from users and when i run this i should see all the users in the table in the table okay so act so this should be like preview or user with new capital and then let's run this let's just do the select asterisk and it should show me all okay so apparently i need to be doing this execute to see everything working and i'll see this these results and now i can actually also do one more thing i can write where uh, user name is equal to fatima in quotes fatima okay and it should show me only the record of fatima so this is my select query some very simple select query etc you don't need to save the select query uh, as long as the database is saved and then the next thing i want to do is i want to create an admin page and i would like to hook it up with this admin page so the database values are coming on the admin so i'll create a new uh, web form i'm not sure if i've created this before a new admin page okay so admin page is here i've created customers data i will write over here so if I do this P, it will do this in a new paragraph. P star customers data, and then P ends. Save it. Okay. So right now, the next thing I would like to do is to add a widget over here, which is a grid view, which connects to the database and shows everything. So I drag and drop this, choose a data source. Now if the data source has not been created, choose a data source, it will create one now on the fly with us. So I will write this rent a car customers db. So it's a data source. The S stands for data source. And create a new connection. Now you need to select your your server's name on which which is actually your SQL server's name. You drop this down and you should see this over here. Now, the next thing you should do is since we've saved our database and table, select the table. So first of all, select the database. This is my database which I uh, created. And then I to do test connection. So the connection succeeded to this database from my Visual Studio. Click OK, go to next. And you can leave this default or actually create uh, another string but just remember it and then the next thing you should do is select table right now i have only one table in my database select asterisk meaning select everything and display it on a grid on my page so i will say next test query everything is working finish so i should have my database now configured to save this exercise and run this page Okay, go to back to your solution explorer, right click your admin page and view in browser. Now what this should do, as soon as your browser starts, it should create a connection through this grid to your database, pull up everything from your database and show on your browser. So this is an admin page which is actually looking at all the list of the users. So if I get to see that, the next thing I would want to do is to now insert it into the database. Whenever the users from the registration page are actually writing something before 
what we did we used to save it in a file now what we will do we will save it in our database yes so this works thanks for watching uh, in the next video we will see how to insert and update and delete from the database